أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين ومن شور أنفسنا ومن سيئان أعمالنا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فسيئا كثيرا أما بعدا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أصيب يفجي إن الله سبحانه وتعالى في النكاس الشيطان والجيم In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most gracious, the most merciful. Indeed, I praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I praise Him alone. I seek refuge in Him from the evil and self, evil and action. Who said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, He guides the right. Who said cannot be guided, cannot be guided at all. I bear witness and testify that there's no deity where be worshipped to be bailed upon but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad and sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the slave and the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in Quran and Qur'imun in Surah Al-Azzab and just bear with me for one minute please Before I start the Quran ayat today the topic I'm going to present is the tawakku in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Now the question is, what is tawakku in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Well, the ayat I'm going to recite is from Surah Azab 33. Ayat 3, Qawl subhanahu wa ta'ala said, A'udhu billah min shaytani wa jeem Wa tawakku an Allah wa kafa billahi wa qila So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the meaning is And put, and put thy trust in Allah and enough is Allah as a disposal of the affairs. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about putting our trust in Him. In that Allah is the the best disposal of affairs. That means we put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then there's another ayat in Surah Al Mulk. Surah Al Mulk chapter 67. Now I'm just going to bring it in, inshallah ta'ala, this few ayahs of the Qur'an. And Qawl subhanahu wa ta'ala said, A'udhu billahi shaitani wa jeem, Qul huwa rahman aamu bihi alayhi wa tawakkana, fazallahu ma'afi dala'i mubin. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, He is the most gracious, we have believed in Him, and on Him we have put our trust as soon as we we we'll know that those who are manifested error. These two ayats from Surah, from first was Surah Azab 33, Ayat um, 3. Surah Al Mulk, chapter 67, near to the last ayat. The point of this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to have tawakkul in Him. A man came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he had a camel. And so on this hadith is in Baqari Muslim. So the man was just going to leave his camel like that and the Prophet وسلم, said to him to tie your camel. Tie your camel. Tie your jamal. Your tawakku in Allah. And regarding the situation, and I'm going to say this, Alhamdulillah, I'm not afraid that the, why the masajid is still closed. And I'm talking to you imams and you sheikhs. People need to go to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we are Muslims. Our trust is in, in what tawakku an Allah is in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you're going to close the masajid for how long? How long are you going to close it? And, where's, and I ask you this question with this thing that I'm doing. Where's your tawakku in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why don't you put your trust in Allah? What kind of, where is your Iman? Where is your faith? Why are you so weak? Manna anna da'ifan, why are you so weak? Through Ramadan, those who know, when we couldn't go to the Masajid because of the virus, of course. But now I think it's time now. 
And I'm going to say this, I think it's time now to open the masajids now. To open the masajids so the Muslims can go to worship Rabbil Alameen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa nusuki wa salati wa na'mati min Rabbil Alameen. Are giving our prayer and charity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says, by the way, I need to read this ayat. This is in Surah Al-Jinn. This is in Surah Al-Jinn. And I got the ayat, alhamdulillah. Allah says this ayat, this is beautiful. I want you to listen. And if there's any practicing Muslim listen, I want you to listen to this ayat. This is not my word. This is the Quran, Qurimun. Allah says, A'udhu Billahi Shaitan Wajim, Bismillah Ahman Rahim. Wa anna masjidillahi falat tadudu alillahi ahada. The meaning is, it says, and the places of worship are for Allah alone. So invoke not any, any, anyone along with him. What did Allah say? Subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, Rabbi Jalla wa ta'ala, said the places of worship belong to not any community. He didn't say because if you belong to a Pakistani community or a different uh, community. No, he said the community is, is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, all the masajids belong to Allah and evoke nobody along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what is the purpose of the masajid? It's to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why is there all these pubs and bars and nightclubs all open? This is actually a prophecy for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa That when you see the evil that is happening, that you know somebody drinks alcohol, according to the Quran, is not stable in their mind. And they talk about social distancing and this and this. I mean, this is hypocrisy. This is nafaq. So they should open the, ma the, the, the masajid. Because the men should go to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the women should stay at home. Men, the, when I say men, it's, it's the Muslims in general, I mean, should, should uh, worship their Lord. And they should be, uh, there is the masjid is a safe of, of peace and of goodness and safety that they can do vikr, as salat, al Quran, tari Quran, and good things in the masajid. Without the masajid, look at us today. We are like, what are we today? Yeah, Muslim, where's your iman? Where's your iman? Where's your tawakku in Allah? According to the Quran, you have not put no tawakku in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's very shameful. It's, it's very shameful and it's disgusting to see the massages are not open. I went past in East London. Uh, the White Chapel, the big masjid, you know the big one, the White Chapel. It said that, that one mosque is open for um, Dhuhr and Asr. <laughs> what what's Dhuhr and Asr prayer? In, in Al Islam, there's five times Salat, Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Aisha. Why you why you only say the two? Why not the five? Come on now. Why are you playing around with our Deen? Why are you playing around with our religion? Why are you trying to, why are you trying to, why, why, why are you doing the opposite when we want the right for all the Muslims? If you can solely open bar and nightclub and people drinking and get drunk, that means look at your life. Your life is nothing, I'm sorry. Your life is just horrible, it's miserable. But let the Muslims have the right for the masajid to go to Allah's house, even Yawm al please give that right. Even Allah says, go to Yawm al Ali Jum'ah. Allah put that right in the Quran. Surah Al-Jum'ah is in the Quran. But you say, oh, because, oh, Aki, and this, no. Which Sheikh said that? Which Imam? I'm sure Saudi never closed their masajid. In Medina is open. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu masjid is open. In Mecca is open, Bahrain is open, Qatar, Kuwait, Yemen, all the massages in the Arab world and the Muslim lands are open, even Somalia. Why? Because they have tawakku in Allah. Yeah, Muslimin, where's your tawakku, please? We are Muslims, put your tawakku in Allah. I don't care if you don't want to pray, that's your own business, I'm sorry. You don't want to pray, I don't care, Kaifa, go work, do what you want to do. But as long as we are still here, 
we have the right to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while you shriek and not join nothing to him. If Saudi says, now open all your massages, why are you not listening to what they're saying? Why are you not listening to what they're saying? Well, why are you Muslim then? Why are you Muslim if you don't have tawakkul? If you don't have, if you don't have resistance, that means you don't trust Allah. You're not trusting Allah then. Because you don't think Allah's got you don't think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got your back for you? Of course. But you must apply your tawakkul. So I'm gonna keep it um, short and I wanna take my brother, alhamdulillah, to, uh, uh, my good brother, may Allah bless him. It's because I'm I am i am kind of frustrated in, in that sense. So I'm just saying that have that, that let the, the sheikhs and imams or whoever forget about the Muslim Council of Britain, please. I don't know who they are, please, I don't know. But Put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and rely upon the Quran and the Sunnah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and have your Iman and say Bismillah and open the massages inshallah ta'ala. I hope this will reach you and that you will see this and that you will do something about this and do not listen to the opposite side but follow Allah, the Quran and the Sunnah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as Dino Ali Sahab. Zakhma Kareem, Salaamu Alaikum, Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuhu.